Well, thanks guys, welcome to the California countryside. We're out here test driving the brand new Jeep Gladiator, their first truck in quite a long time. But Jeep may have created themselves quite a problem with this vehicle. It has become so sought after, the fact is that dealers may not be able to fulfill demand. The starting price of the new Jeep Gladiator is around $35,000, which is around $10,000 more than the Toyota Tacoma. But that's not going to stop the adventure faithful. They're coming in droves to buy the new midsize pickup, which has captured the imagination of America. And some have waited almost 30 years for this truck. Scott Tallon is a Jeep spokesperson. Well, you know, you're right. I mean, we, we've had our, our fans, our followers, our owners, you know, they've been asking for, you know, when's the Jeep truck going to come back? When are you guys going to make the Jeep truck? Truck. So you're right. It's been it's been highly anticipated. Would, would be an understatement. And you know when we set out to to, to build the the JT or the Jeep the Gladiator, uh, we were on a mission to, to build not just a, a a pickup truck that was a Jeep, but we wanted the best midsize truck in its segment that also happened to be a Jeep. So the capability, the utility had to be there. So um, taking the existing frame, maybe the previous generation JK and, and adapting that to a pickup, it just wouldn't have provided the level of utility and performance that's, that's really true to you know one of the main core values of Jeep, which is authenticity. At launch, the Gladiator will be available with only Jeep's familiar 3.6-litre gasoline V6 engine, producing 285 horsepower. There'll be more options to come. It can tow 7,650 pounds when properly equipped. Right now, it's the best in class, but expect the competition to step up their vehicles in response. Mark Allen designed the Wrangler, released last year, and also had the task of making Jeep's first truck in 27 years, the Gladiator. And I mean, we're really good off-road, and that's, that's been our focus, but making the vehicle comfortable and working on road, day-to-day -day usage, explains the four-door. It's going to be family-friendly. Five-foot box, we understand that's like a, a, a perfect size box for most people's needs. Beyond that, they need a full-size truck, but as far as a mid-size truck, five-foot box is great. The Gladiator is more like a Swiss Army knife than a mid-sized truck. Now, as an added convenience, Jeep want you to be able to look at what's in your cargo bed at any one time. And so they have a little sliding window here at the back, which allows you to see into the bed from the back seat. It has multiple storage options, including lockable rear seats that have storage behind and under them. Elizabeth Correa from Jeep was excited to show me her favorite feature. You never know when a party's going to break out. But when one does, we have a wireless speaker. It's held in a docking station, and it has smart power. So we only send power to the speaker when the speaker is low, the battery's low. And then we only send power to the docking station when the speaker's installed. So it's smart charging on both ends. We know that this vehicle is usable, capable, and desirable, but is it drivable? On-road driving, surprisingly as good as the Wrangler, even though we have a five-foot truck bed on the back of this, I would take my family in this on a road trip. The biggest problem will be getting one. Currently, Jeep Wrangler holds 72% of their value after five years. It's expected that the Gladiator will do the same. This makes it very desirable, and expect them to be in short supply. Brand new Jeep Gladiator starting under $34,000, best fuel economy, 23 miles a gallon on the highway, and it's heading to dealerships right now. For our auto expert, I'm Nick Miles.